Welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. On today's program, we're going to preview the upcoming Suffolk Mystery Authors Festival and also give you some insight into what the Suffolk Division of Tourism has to offer as you're making some of your late summer plans. Stay tuned. Welcome back to On the Scene. Joined now by Kathleen Kelly, the Tourism Development Specialist with the City of Suffolk. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Now, we're here today to talk about an event that we talked about last year, and it's coming back, mm -hmm. and it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Yes. It's the Suffolk Mystery Authors Festival. Mm -hmm. Well, first up, when and where is it going to be, and then let's get into all the details. Okay. Well, the festival this year is going to be on Saturday, August 22nd, uh, and it's going to be at the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts. Okay. Um, and we're going to be holding it from 12 to 6 p.m. Um, and it's going to be a great day for everybody. Um, last year we uh, had it from 11 to 7. Mm -hmm. And this year we've decided to kind of change things around a little bit. Right. And we've um, sort of, you know, kind of made everything a little bit more um, easy for everyone to kind of check things out. And we've kind of consolidated mm -hmm. some things. Um, and we've been able to kind of look at, you know, what, what's the most popular items for everyone last year right. and, you know, really looked at what was the, you know, the, the top items for everyone last year and kind of, you know, we, we really looked at what everybody liked and, and tried to keep that in mind as we were planning this year. So. Now, last year, if I recall, the, the main genre focused on was cozy mysteries. Yes. Which I want, want, if you could explain what that is, but also this year you're adding a few extra mm -hmm. little things in there and as part of that, uh, last year, I think you had 11 authors. This year, you have 25. Uh, 24, 24, actually. 24, 24. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. So, I mean, you've more than doubled the amount of people coming mm -hmm. as far as uh, presenting and, and being there. Mm -hmm. But talk about Cozy Mysteries, what some of the genres that are going to be focused on this okay. year, and then um, maybe even highlight maybe a few of the authors that sure. are coming. Uh, we, last year, we had 11, as you said, right. um, and uh, one of those author teams was uh, a husband and wife, mm -hmm. um, and they have graciously agreed to come back this year. They were very excited to um, come back. Um, and this year we've actually expanded our uh, author teams to 24. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, this year we've got some cozy auth authors, um, which you had asked about what that means. Right. And there's a sub-genre of the mystery authors um, called cozy mysteries. And what that tends to be is um, uh, a, a mystery that kind of takes place in a very small town. Um, generally, the protagonist is a, is a woman, um, generally, not always, but for the most part. Um, and she's, for, the, for lack of a better term, is usually a busybody, kind of in everybody's business, right. um, and is kind of privy to what's going on in town so that she can kind of get the clues of, as to what's going on. Yes. Um, the murder um, or the death is usually very non-bloody. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's kind of a PG-rated type of right. mystery. Okay. Um, these are not gritty uh, thrillers. Right. Um, they, really, the, the best person that I can say that would be the kind of the mother of those types of mysteries would be Agatha Christie. Okay, great. Um, so, you know, they're very, very popular. Um, there are hundreds and hundreds of these types of mysteries out there, and they're very fun. They're very right. short. Right. Um, they're, you know, tiny little, n not tiny, but they're smaller books than your average, you know, um, large, large, you know, door stoppers that you can see sometimes in, sure. the, in the bookstores. Right. Um, so we've got a lot of those types of authors coming this year. Um, but we also have expanded our reach this year to include um, some women's fiction. Mm -hmm. um, we do have some romance authors coming, and we do have some um, just general mystery and suspense authors coming. So, um, you know, we've got a little bit of everything this right. year. We kind of wanted to, you know, kind of expand our reach a little bit. Sure. Um, you know, down the road, what we'd like to see this happen is maybe turn this into a two or a three day festival and, um, you know, keep the mystery element, but right. maybe move it into some other sure. um, genres as well. You know, maybe open it up to, you know, cookbook authors right. and children's book authors right. and things like that. So, you know, kind of more of a, a, a larger literary festival, sure. but we're not quite there yet. Right. Um, right. Um, so as of right now, we're just kind of focusing on the on the mystery authors because they've been great to us, right. um, and you know we're looking to show them a great time while they're here in Suffolk. Um, but we've got, as I said, 24 authors. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is the husband and wife team that I mentioned, and uh, jo uh, Joyce and Jim Levine. Okay. Um, and we do have another team that actually is two women who write under one name, um, Sparkle Abbey. Okay. Um, very fun uh, books. Right. They've got great titles like uh, Desperate House Dogs and. Um, Yip Tuck and um, uh, Desperate, uh, let's see, what is it, um, Fifty Shades of Greyhound. Right. So okay. very fun right. titles, very sure. uh, kind of play on words yeah. type of thing. Um, and they've got um, very, very loyal fans. Um, so, you know, we're hoping that a lot of those fans will come to this, uh, to this festival. Uh, but we've got a lot of people coming. Um, Ellery Adams is actually one of our um, top authors coming. Um, she has a, a tremendous amount of fans. Right. And actually, she was one of the first people that we approached last year mm -hmm. to see if we could get um, a signing with her. Right. 
And um, she was the one who said, well, you know, I'd love to do a signing with you guys, but what if I brought some of my friends with right. me? And that's kind of how the that's festival kind of kind of took yeah. off. Um, so we are beholden to, right. to Miss Adams. I so understand. luckily, she is able to join us again this year. You know, she's a very busy author, puts sure. out three to four books a year. Right. Um, so she is coming as well. Um, and we do have several returners from last year. Lindy uh, Walker is going to be here again. Um, so um, we'll um, put the list of names um, up on the screen. And right. um, we do have a website that okay. um, has everybody listed. So um, and that's uh, www dot Suffolk Mystery Authors uh, Festival dot com. And you also so. have a Facebook page. We do, yes, okay. um, and, and that also is Suffolk Mystery Authors uh, Festival um, under Facebook. So again, so. you're looking for information about books or things or news tidbits about some of the authors coming or things about it as the festival gets a little closer. Yes. I guess people can look to that as well to kind of find out what's kind of happening right there. Yeah, there. we try yeah. to keep that as, as updated as possible. Sure. Anytime we get any type of a, a new tidbit, um, you know, we've got everything pretty much planned at mm -hmm. this point. Um, you know, everything is set as far as the schedule is concerned, but you know, things do change. It's a very fluid process. Um, so things do change up until the last minute. Um, some people, um, you know, you know, decide that they can come a little bit later in the day, that kind of a thing. So we've had to kind of move things around. Okay. Um, so those things, you know, do change. Um, so, you know, I do encourage everybody to kind of stay um, on top of the Facebook uh, page and the website um, because we do keep that very updated. Um, so that's a really great way to stay um, in, you know, in, in tune with what's going on. So. Okay, so it's 12 to 6 mm -hmm. on the 22nd of August. 22nd Saturday. of August. Mm -hmm. Now, how is the day stacked out? Because it's, it, you think, okay, great, we got authors coming. Yeah. We're at the Culture, Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? So kind of lay out the day, how it kind of unfolds. Well, we're, it's, it's a new kind of a thing this year. Um, I had actually attended an, another conference um, earlier in the spring and found that um, a lot of what they had done were panels with the authors, and um, people really responded to those panels where you got a chance to kind of meet, I'll say meet, right. as in hear the authors speak. Sure. And you got a really a good chance to kind of hear their voice, you know, and, and kind of hear their personality. And so we really loved the idea of that. Um, so what we've decided to do this year is that from 12 to 1, we're going to do um, a private meet and greet. Okay. Um, and this is the only part of the day that's ticketed. Okay. Um, uh, the rest of the day is free, but okay. from 12 Great. to 1, um, it's a VIP meet and greet, um, and that is going to be in the, everything is at the Cultural Arts Center, right. but um, from 12 to 1, it's the VIP meet and greet, and for $15, you can get in and have um, kind of a un, un, unfiltered access to the authors. Sure. Um, you get refreshments, you can talk to your favorite author, mm -hmm. Um, you know, you get a, a, a nice swag bag, um, you know, it's, it's a really good way to kind of, you know, you're not, you're not worrying about anybody behind you, right. you know, like rushing you, sure. that kind of a thing. Because sometimes when you're at these um, signings or festivals, you know, there's somebody waiting in line behind you to get their book right. signed and, you know, you only have a couple of minutes. So right. this gives you a chance to really, you know, sure. you know, stop and chat for a while. So, and we've had tremendous response to this. Um, and we weren't sure, we, right. you know, this was a new thing we were sure. going to try. Right. Um, so that's a new um, facet this year. Okay. So that's from 12 to 1, okay. $15. Um, if anybody is still interested, we do still have some tickets okay. available. Um, and all they need to do is call the Suffolk Visitor Center um, at 757-514-4130. Right. Um, and you can give your credit card over the phone or um, stop by the Visitor Center um, or send a check to the, to the Visitor Center okay. and we'll get you a ticket. Yep. Um, so then at 1 o'clock, what we're going to be doing is, um, as I mentioned, we're doing one of those panels that we discussed. Um, and we're going to have all of the authors in the Birdsong Theater at the Cultural Arts Center, and everybody's going to be on stage. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is having um, a moderator kind of introduce all of the authors to the audience, and you kind of get a feel for who they are as people. Right. You'll get a chance to kind of talk about their process, um, you know, who they are as, as people, but also as authors. Right. And it kind of gives you a little bit more of a feel, you know, you know who they are, right. instead of just this, you know, entity off. You might know the characters, yeah. but you don't know the, the yeah. man or the woman behind the. Exactly, yeah. right. and and as a reader, that's important to me to sure. to kind of figure out, you know, who who these people are. Sure. So you know, because it kind of gives you an insight into what what goes into writing these books. Mm -hmm. Um, so then from 2 to 3, we're going to have signings in the, um, both of the art galleries, okay. and everything is going to be on the second floor this year. Right, okay. So um, we've kind of consolidated everything to kind of keep it a little bit more um, easier for everybody yeah. to kind of, yeah. you know, move around. Right. Um, so that's from 2 to 3, and then from 3 to 6, for that three-hour period, we are going to have um, several things that are going to be going on okay. concurrently. Um, we're going to be having readings. Um, we'll have three different panels going on at each hour. Okay. Um, and then we're also going to have some workshops. Oh, nice. um, so there's a little bit of something for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all going to be in different locations on the second floor. 
um, but you know you can pop into one and you know then pop out to another right. one, um, and it's very as I mentioned before very fluid. Right. So um, you know it's there's there's a little bit of something for everybody. So now you mentioned book signings, yes. and I know I know if, when you bring authors together, that's mm -hmm. what people want to do. Sure. Um, and spend that 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 couple minutes there with the person when you're getting that done. Obviously, you're going to have some books for sale on site, mm -hmm. but if someone has a book by one of these authors, can they bring that in and have that signed there? Absolutely. We are going to have a limited amount of stock for each of the authors. Right. Um, that is actually, um, the books have started arriving. Actually, we have our, okay. our, our visitor center has turned into a mini bookstore right now. <laughs> Um, so we do have a limited amount, right. um, but we do very much encourage people to bring, if you have a, a title by one of your authors um, right. that you would like to have signed, please, by all means, bring it with you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because there's no guarantee that there will still be a title when you get to the visitor, I mean, to, I'm sorry, to the cultural arts Person, center. Right. Um, so, you know, definitely bring what you've got. Um, you know, and it might also be a, a well-worn um, dog-eared copy that, you know, means something to you. Yes. So, yeah. you know, and, you know, spend a few minutes and right. talk to your author. Right. Um, you know, so hopefully there'll be plenty of time for you to, to, to do that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I should mention that we do have a, a specific time from two to three for those signings, but right. when the authors are not involved in other events, it they're still going to go back right. to that. To it those might, might, might just be a formal setting. Exactly. Yeah, right, they're going right. to still kind of be milling around, you know, and when they're not involved in a specific panel or workshop or reading, they're going to still go back to their table in the art galleries and still be available to do um, signing. So they're going to be available to everybody all day long. Um, so it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be really exciting for everybody. So again, really, you know, you have the VIP reception, uh, or the meet and greet, I should say, from 12 to 1. Yes. And that's the only thing that there's actually a fee associated yes, with it. That's the rest the of the thing. day is free, yep. and, and, and of course, everything is still open to the public. Yes. And I would say that, I guess, if you have a favorite author that's going to be there, this is a great opportunity to get to know other authors mm -hmm. in that same type of genre, mm -hmm. and maybe you discover something new, and it opens up a whole new world in that sense. So uh, again, we want to reiterate the date, the time, the location. Yes, the, the date is going to be Saturday, August 20th. Second, okay. um, the time is going to be from 12 until 6, mm -hmm. and again, from 12 to 1 is that VIP meet right. and greet. So if you can't attend that, that's no problem. Okay. Um, so the free um, part of the day yeah. starts at 1, right. um, and again, you do not have to be there for the entire day. You right. can come and go as you like. Okay. Um, you know, we're we're fine about that, um, and we do we are going to have programs um, that day that we'll be handing to everybody. Right. So um, you know, you don't have to have this all committed to memory. We'll, we'll have everything set for you when you get there. Perfect. Um, and um, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a great day. So and it is at the Cultural Arts Center. Got so. it. A great, a great event at a great venue. Yes. So a, good, a perfect opportunity there. Well, Kathleen, thanks for spending time with us today. Thank you so much. The Suffolk Mystery Authors Festival, Saturday, August the twenty second, right here in Suffolk. A great chance for you to get out there, meet some authors, get some books signed, and just kind of find out a little bit more about what's going on in the literary community. So again, thanks for your time today. Thank you. All right, and we will have more on the scene when we return. Welcome back to On the Scene. We're talking tourism here, and to do that, we have Teresa Earls, the Tourism Development Manager with the City of Suffolk. Teresa, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Now, when we talk tourism, one of the main focal points there is the visitor center. Yes. So, for people who are not aware of where the visitor center is located, or perhaps the resources you and your staff have there, tell us a little bit about it. Well, I, there's no excuse for not knowing where we are. True. Because we are <laughs> in one of the most beautiful buildings in downtown Suffolk. We are situated at the corner of Constance and Main. We're in the old Nansman County Courthouse, which has been there since 1839. And it was there before then, but it burned down a couple of times. <laughs> um, but we are located on the corner. A lot of times folks remember us because we're catty corner from McDonald's. Right. But we're directly across from the Hilton Garden Inn and Suffolk Conference Center, which makes us very convenient yes. for people going to conferences, reunions, weddings, that sort of thing. But the best part, we're open seven days a week. Nine to five, we're open major holidays with the exception of Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. And we have information for not just Suffolk, but for the entire state. Right. So whether you're coming in to visit you know, us, which we're happy to have you, but or if you're taking your family on a vacation right. throughout Virginia, we're more than happy to help you. Um, we have maps for DC and for other surrounding states, and of course, Virginia maps. We have a terrific gift shop, um, which a lot of our Suffolk citizens come in around the holidays because they want to get something that's very Suffolk specific, right. whether it's a, an ornament or a t-shirt or something like that. But we have a great gift shop. Um, and a fabulous staff, and we always have complimentary coffee, and we welcome people to come and grab a newspaper or a brochure, sit and chat with us, and we'll be happy to work out an itinerary for them. But also, too, we work with a lot of reunions and weddings and, and conferences who are coming in. We provide a, you know several different services as part of the tourism department. So if you are bringing in your reunion, you might want a custom welcome bag or an adore prize, and you know we'll do a mayor's letter and a variety of things. Sure. So, you know, the best thing is to utilize your tourism department right. as best as possible. Indeed. 
And again, it's sort of a one-stop shop in that regards exactly. with coming in there. Uh, plenty of parking, conveniently located. So Great that's a, parking. Yes. And we have disabled access. That's mm -hmm. certainly not an issue. Right. And you may have noticed that we have the lovely pavilion right that's behind right. the visitor center, which is where we have our farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And also, too, our parking lot is the lot that is recommended to use if you go to the TGIF concert series that's at Constance Wharf behind the hotel. Mm -hmm. So you just park at our parking lot and just zoom across the street. It's very convenient, and we encourage people to do it. And free parking at that. Yes. <laughs> Always a plus. Well, you know, when it, it, summer's starting to wind down, mm -hmm. and people might have taken that big vacation, or, you know, maybe they haven't done anything yet, but they're looking for something to do. Mm -hmm. And certainly, it's always nice to look in your own backyard, so to speak. Sure. And being here in Suffolk, we have some great offerings that your, your department and division handle. And specifically, some of these are tours. You talked about the farmer's market already. So let's, let's kind of start with the farmer's market. Okay. That still continues. We're on yes. Saturdays. But talk about a little bit about the farmer's market and what's coming up in August and maybe even early September. Well, this is our 10th anniversary of the farmer's oh, market. Wow. Okay. Not in this particular location, right. but just right. in its lifespan. Sure. The fact that we're in our 10th season is great, and it's only getting better every year. Right. Um, we're Saturdays from 9 to 1, and that's through November. Okay. So it's when summer's over, we're going to have fall produce and pumpkins and right. that sort of thing. Um, but every Saturday from 9 to 1 at the pavilion behind the visitor center, we have the farmer's market. Our average is between 20 and 25 vendors. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get fresh meats and, and eggs and produce. And then you're also going to get jellies and jams and pickles and right. baked goods. And then we have artisan crafts. So people who hand make items for gifts and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, you could also get popcorn and ices and that sort of thing. Sure. Now, the first Saturday of every month is always what we call first Saturdays of the market. We're, we're clever like that. Right. We try to keep it easy. Um, but so that's always like a little bit bigger. It's a bigger right. push for the family. So there's always going to be a petting zoo, the teeny tiny farm. So all the animals are small. They're so precious. Um, it's definitely a highlight. So uh, the first Saturday of every month, we have the teeny tiny farm from 10 to 1. We have live entertainment. So you'll have a musician out there singing. Um, we'll have different programs. A lot of times the first Saturday of the month, we have a pop-up library where you can come and get your library card if you don't have one. You could check out books, you could do crafts and you know kind of learn about what the library programs um, you know have going on because sure. they have constant programming That's as correct. well. Um, you, we always have something going on. Now, I will say, if you don't mind me looking at my notes, please do. August fifteenth is World Honey Bee Day, okay. and so we're really excited about that because you know we, there's a lot of talk about you know saving honeybees and how important they are. Um, but we also will have the Nansman Beekeeper Association out. So they'll bring a hive and they'll bring some local honey and there may be some available for purchase if okay. it's available. Um, so we'll have that and the Master Gardeners have been great about coming and doing special programs. I believe it's Shade Gardening on the 15th of August. Okay. So you can learn about that. And they come regularly to talk about different programs. In the September, they're going to talk about you know fall and winter gardening and that sort of thing. So right. these are great exhibits. There's something to do. You could literally come out and spend a couple hours if you wanted to, or you could you know just zoom in and get you know a couple of peppers if you want. Right. You know, it's not something that's a lot of stress. Families love it. It's a great way to get out of the house in, on Saturday mornings. You know, <laughs> it, it, kick it, off the weekend. Yeah, it yeah. encourages you to get ready, get out of the house, right. and then maybe hit lunch downtown right. and then go shopping, or if you have a ball game in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. You know, it really kind of kicks things off. Now, we also have tours going on as well. Correct. Now, we've, we've, now that we have our own little experience, Suffolk Express, yes. which is a 15-passenger minibus that operates you know, from the visitor center, we do regular historic Suffolk bus tours. Okay. And we try to do those every Monday at 2. It's, we have a set schedule, and if people come, we're more than happy to give them a tour. And if no one shows, that's okay, too. Sure. Um, but we usually have a handful of people every Monday. Mm -hmm. And then we try to sprinkle some on Saturdays as well. So if there is a ghost walk scheduled right. on a Saturday, we'll also do a historic bus tour on the same day. So the historic bus tour is only an hour long, but it takes you through downtown, okay. and you learn really about the history and the buildings and the people. And it, it's a very interesting tour. It's 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 comfortable. You know, it's an air-conditioned bus. Right. And so you can't beat that. Sure. But it, it's just a great way to kind of discover Suffolk. So I recommend it even not just for visitors, but people who have lived here all their lives Correct. have never really yeah. heard some of these stories. So come, it's six dollars and eight dollars. You know, we give a discount for military seniors or children, okay. and you know the the main price is eight dollars. You six dollars is the discount. Sure. The ghost walk is ten and eight, and that's a ninety minute tour, okay. and that's walking. Mm -hmm. And we wait until it gets a little bit later. So right now they're at seven thirty, right? Because you want it to be dark. Of course. A little, a little spooky. Plus yeah. it's a little cooler then if you <laughs> if you can count like eighty five degrees cooler. Indeed. <laughs> um, but it's a fabulous tour. It right. really is probably. I, I'm, it's our number one tour in the sense that it definitely gets the most attention. Correct. Um, now, our Great Dismal Swamp tour, you really can't beat that either. Right. 
Um, this, you know, we do the swamp safaris. Those are four hours long. And we have a tremendous biologist. Right. Um, her name is Penny, and she's fabulous. And she's actually doing a, an exhibit at the August 15th Suffolk Farmers okay. Market for Meet the Great Dismal Swamp Day. Okay. And she'll bring out some critters, and mm -hmm. she's also a wildlife rehabilitator. So she'll bring out some critters that you might see in the swamp, some snakes or frogs or something like that. And if for those people that are just interested in the swamp, but they're not really sure just yet, sure. or they want to book a tour, that will definitely kind of give you some insight into right. it. But if you're interested in a tour, all you have to do is either call us mm -hmm. at the Visitor Center, which is 757-514-4130, okay. or just go online to visitsuffolkva.com right. and follow through the website. It's really simple. Okay. Um, they're all inexpensive. We, we do have group discounts, and it's just there's something to do all the time. Exactly. There's no excuse for anybody to say they're bored. And if right. your child says they're bored, you need to bring them to us and yes. we can schedule an itinerary. That's not an issue. Well, you know, you talk about always something to do and I think that's one of the great resources that your website has yes. is the calendar. Yes. Broken down by month and you can really get a feel for what's going on. And again, you talked about the tours and those are dotted on there as well. But it's also events that the city's putting on or other events that other organizations have going on in the city. You know, uh, uh, different festivals and things like that that are happening here. So again, it's a great resource to use if you're looking for something or just want to kind of get out there and experience your city a little bit more. Absolutely. Yeah. We really do try to be a citywide calendar. Right. Now, keep in mind, you're not going to necessarily have every church's pancake breakfast Correct. or anything like that. Right. Or, you know, we try to keep the events that, say, a resident would enjoy, but also a visitor would enjoy. And that's kind of the way I look at it. If, if I'm coming in from out of town and I think that that's worth my time to stop, then I think that's what we should be, you know, encouraging people to go of to. Course. So we keep information for all the attractions like Riddick's Folly and the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts, mm -hmm. but the programming at Bennett's Creek and all the parks and recreation events and that sort of thing, um, different workshops and art exhibits. It's really a great opportunity to keep up. And we, we do keep up and, you know, update it on a regular basis. Right, right. So, and if you have an event we don't know about, you can just send it through the um, website and we'll right. consider it. Perfect. Now, you talked about the tours, and of course, a couple of those were taking place in downtown Suffolk, which yep. is a really historically rich area that has a lot of character and, 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 and life to it. But then you also mentioned the Great Dismal Swamp, and that is a resource that I think people don't realize we have here in Suffolk. Absolutely. And then when you tap into it, you're just amazed at what's really there. And the tour is a great way to kind of experience mm -hmm. that if you've never been there before. You do it in a, you know, again, a, a nice bus environment. You're a little yes. enclosed. You don't have to worry about fighting off mosquitoes or anything. But there's really a lot of, of history there. Uh, certainly nature, um, and just a really unique environment that is, as I said earlier, in your backyard. Mm -hmm. It really is natural wilderness, mm -hmm. and you you go 15 minutes outside of a city, you're in a city, then all of a sudden you're going through kind of a rural area, and then you're in the middle of the swamp, which sounds, the word swamp is so misleading. <laughs> Correct. It is just beautiful. It's mm -hmm. truly beautiful, and you go in, and there are mosquitoes. I can't do anything about those. I try to send them away. They keep coming back. Um, we, we do recommend people bring insect repellent. Of course. Um, but it, it, you can get past that. Right. The, the, the natural habitat is beautiful, of course. And going down to Lake Drummond, mm -hmm. I, I tell people this all the time. If it's not a windy day and you're standing at Lake Drummond, it looks like glass. Yeah. And you can see the sky reflected in the water. And it's amazing because you can't see where the sky ends and the water begins. And it's, it's just breathtaking. And it's been there, you know, forever, right. essentially. Right. And just the fact that you're standing where so many other people have stood, and it's just, it gives you a chance to really pause. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what our tour guide does is really kind of, you know, engage the tour participant and talk about the history and talk about the fact that it's a national underground um, railroad network to freedom program. So it was a haven for runaway slaves. Mm -hmm. So people fleeing for their lives and having to live off this land, which to us, we would not make it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so the idea that this beautiful wilderness it was also terrifying and at the same time, you know, a savior for so many. Right. It's just a really great opportunity to relate back to our history and our heritage and to envision what this place used to be for so many different people. And if you're a nature lover and you like, you know, animals and wildlife, we have 200 different species of birds. There's river otters, um, black bear, of course. Mm -hmm. And you do see them, you yes. know. You'll, you'll see them quite a bit in deer. You'll see a lot of deer. Now, we do owl prowls occasionally with the swamp, and, and of course, that's at night. Um, but there's all kinds of opportunities. And we work closely with the Great Dismal Swamp sure. National Wildlife Refuge to encourage people to participate in their programs as well. And you can take your kid there to learn archery and wildlife photography. We have so much to offer. Yes. It's amazing. Indeed. 
Well, Teresa, thank you for spending time with us today to talk about, again, what, what you and the staff in your division are doing for the city, for people who live here, people coming from the outside to really make Suffolk such a special place. So thank you for everything y'all do. Well, thank you. Appreciate we enjoy it. And of course, we have all the contact information on the screen on how you can get in touch with the Division of Tourism. The website, of course, go by the Visitor Center or call them either way. So again, great way and a great staff that can really be, are very knowledgeable, as I should say, about the events and activities happening here in Suffolk. Again, Teresa, thanks for your time today. Thank you. Appreciate that. And that will do it for this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. We'll see you next time.